so now you learn how to create a site in GNMIO so you should create a site with your desired site name next we need to create a course in this site for that in the navigation pan go to site administration so now we are creating a course a demo course so you all have to create a demo course in which you need to do the trials of all the activities and resources you learned in this workshop so go to site administration click that so site administration will give you the power to edit your website to add users to create course so it has the supreme power to control all the site activities so now you are the site admin of your own course if you create a GNMIO site in colleges uh, you need to give this power to some teachers so that you can share your duties unless it is very difficult to control all the activities of Moodle course page so go to site administration so here you can see many tabs there site administration uses courses grades plugins so, so many tabs are there you can learn other tabs in later tutorials now just click our objective is to create a course so click courses there there you can find manage courses and categories click manage courses and categories here you can see two portions left side you can see create a new category right side you can see a create a new course you can create course under a category only first you if you want to create a course first you need to create a category a miscellaneous category is already there so you can create your demo course under this miscellaneous category but in colleges you can create different courses under categories like PG UG category so you can manage these course and categories with your own interest just use your logic to manage this courses and categories so here I am going to create a demo course in under miscellaneous category so you all need to create a course under this miscellaneous category so just click here miscellaneous then click create a new course so you can see the parent category is miscellaneous so I am typing course full name Moodle try it you can use a short name here which will be displayed in your course tab so I am using the same name as the short name or else you can use some short names also so course category is miscellaneous so what I am saying is that if you want to create the same in your colleges you can create different courses under different categories for example physics category you can create UG and PG then under UG category you can create different courses under PG category you can create different courses so in this way you can divide these course categories so next tab is course visibility it must be given as visible so or show then course start date so it is displayed as 14th July or else you can start different days as you wish and you can select this course and date if you want to disable this option just click this tick or just untick enable options okay if you want to enable just click that one course ID number no need to provide there here you can give a course description like a Moodle trial web page I have given the description as Moodle trial web page which will be displayed along with the course name in actual practice you can give this one as like the syllabus which your course offers like etc 
So it is better to provide a description here. No need to put, if you want to put some summary files, you can. No need to edit other settings. Just check the completion tracking. I will explain what is this completion tracking. It must be enabled as S. Then save and display. Now your course is ready. So this is your Moodle trial course. So in the left side you can see. So N2. In the left side you can in the left navigation pan at the top you can see your course name Moodle trial. So this is your course page. Okay. If you click on the site home. So you can see your Moodle trial courses under available courses. So this is the description. So if you provide some useful description there, it will be displayed here so that the students can understand what the course is meant for or etc. So this is the importance of providing the disp uh, description in Moodle course page. So just click your course. So for, for accessing your course, just click the site home and then you can find your course there just click that course so this is your course page in this way you can create your course in Moodle platform next we need to add users because we need students so next we will learn how to add students in Moodle set and how to enroll students in your course page and then how we will learn how to design this course page okay that we will learn in the coming sessions thank you